Alrighty, we're back in No Man's Sky. It's me, Richard. We got the orbital update loaded, so we got these fancy, fancy looking space stations now. Very awesome. Thank you, Hello Games. Alright, let's uh, grab some platinum real quick, I guess. For the hell of it. Oh, that's tritium. Weird. Okay. Alrighty, let's summon the Space Anomaly and see what our mission is for today. Get on over there. Watch out, Radiant Pillar. That was uh, very close. Alright, interacting with the Nexus, and we have Survey a Planet. Let's do it. Sure. Sequential surveys. Mission started. Woohoo! All right, let's go survey. We're warping. Alrighty, we have arrived in the target system. First contact. Wow, look at those rings. Wow. Alrighty, the unsurveyed planet is over this way, eh? Oh, hello, fleet. Wow, check that out. Alright, it's a harsh blue globe with ancient bones, activated indium dioxide, magnetized ferrite, and high sentinel activity. And it's called Unitus. Alright, let's get on over there and see what it's like. Being that it has activated indium, it's probably very stormy. So, go figure. Now with this mission, you can just land anywhere and start your scanning. You don't have to do anything special talk to an NPC, go to specific point of interest, nothing. You just land and do stuff. So you don't have to go to where the marker shows. You just essentially have to land on the planet. I just tend to go where the marker tells me. <laughs> just for the hell of it. Sometimes, though, I'll go elsewhere. Alrighty, now it's, it's Okay, are we going out, or what are we doing here? <clears throat> oh, it's uh, water. Okay, well, there's land over there. Whoa, hello, land. Bonk. Bonk. Wow. Am I stuck on something? It'd be nice if there was some uh, actual landable land anywhere. <clears throat> Let's try right there. Oh, now it clears. I will give it a little bit for the weather to settle down. Let that external temperature come down a little bit. Where it's not so so hot. All right, 114.5. Still a little bit warm out there. All righty, winds from beyond, unwavering, generous, and frequent. Okay then. All righty, discover minerals. Okay. There's a mineral. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, that's not a mineral. Well, there's some. Alrighty, there is number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Number six. Number seven. Yep, that's one. Eight. Nine. Wait. see here there's a mineral all right 10 discover creatures okay there we go you look for the red dots there's one well, let's see there was that one guy over this way somewhere he was actually up over here I think if he's still around Yep, he's still there. All right. You are number two. Submerged relic. No. Not a whole lot of red dots left around. Okay, let's go see if there's some marine red dots. So we'll go dunk our head in the water. Oh, look, there we go. Fish! Three? Four? Five? Six. Nice. All right, now it wants us to discover plants. Okay, well, there's one. There's two. Let's see, there's probably some more down here, I bet. I think the kelp sack counts. Yep. Three. There is four. Let's see. Mineral. Snope. Alrighty. Let's get back on to dry land. Let's see. Does that count as a plant? No, that is a mineral. Ready? There is a plant, number five. Oh, there's a red dot right there. How funny is that? All right, there is six, seven. Oxygen. Oh, there's one right there, actually. There is nine. Awesome sauce. Scan life and minerals. Objective complete. Alrighty. Now it wants us to locate planetary hotspots. And you do that with the analysis visor. So uh, we'll switch over to that. And the trick is, listen. You can 
hear it pinging out of the right ear. So if you turn to the right, until it pings in both ears like that, even though you're not close enough to detect it, if you go in that direction, you will eventually come across it. So it could be it's in the water, could be over there. Wow, look at that, that view. That is just, a, I gotta get a screenshot of that. That is just amazingly orange. <laughs> So, power mode. Ah, it's an A-class electromagnetic hotspot 348 units away. So it's probably over there on that next little peninsula I bet. So we'll just take a quick swim. Scare the fishies. Away. This is good. No, no, maybe it is an aquatic hot spot. Looks like it might be in the water. That does happen occasionally. Analyzing. Hey, fish! There we go. An A class electromagnetic hotspot found. Okay, now we'll switch over to a mineral survey mode. And oh, well, look at that. There's a B mineral class, a B class mineral deposit that way. So, also an aquatic hotspot. So, let's just go for another swim. Boy, superheated rainstorm approaching. Boy, this one's gonna be deep. way a little bit. Okay. Then this way. Alright, right there. And we have found activated indium. Wow. Look at that. Alright, now let's swap over to the gas survey mode. And there's a C-class gas cloud 325 units that way. Okay, so let's go that way. Now, it's not unheard of, but there can be, oddly enough, <laughs> gas clouds underwater. Yeah, I know, you're probably wondering, how do you get gas clouds underwater? I don't know, it's alien. They can do whatever they want. They're not bound by normal human physics. <laughs> that way huh okay no oh, maybe this one is out of the water maybe it's over here that would be a little more apropos it being on land all right or is it right in the water nope it's right over here Okay, there we are. And we have discovered nitrogen. Alrighty then. Analysis is complete. Cool. 
Sequential surveys. Locate planetary hotspots. Submission complete. Or uh, object complete. All right, now you upload the survey data. And you do that by deploying a signal booster. Like that. Then you interact with it. You locate nearby structures. It finds one and overrides the terminal. Polo is meddling. Alrighty, so uh, pick up your signal booster. Don't leave it lying around, because that's just a rude leave your trash all around the universe. Alrighty, so let's hop in the Golden Vector and get over to the location of the terminal. So it's over that way, and let's see, six minutes? That's a little bit long to pulse in the atmosphere like that. So we'll do an Atmo jump, like Trinity and Neo did. Give it a little bit before we get down into the denser, lower atmosphere. There we go. Alright, watch out for that mega florals. There we go. Alrighty. Bump. Okay. the there's just a there's no waypoint here okay that's interesting all right never seen it at one of these but I guess that works Ooh, nice butt there wow welcome user not a please pl uh, present planetary survey all right we upload the data that Corvax butt is kind of driving me a little crazy. All right, packaging, connecting. Uh, yep, handshaking. Yep, thank you. Log out. All righty. Mission is completed. woo -dee woo All right, now all you got to do is return to the anomaly and claim your rewards. So uh, let's do that. Bye-bye, Orange Planet. Let's see, are we near the space station? Not really. All right. Let's say, let's see what the space station looks like in this system. Okay, we're too close to the atmosphere here. Oh. And the fleet is popping in. Okay, well, let's move away from the planet and the fleet. And try there. There we go. I get on in there and get her done. Go and interact. Yeah. Zoop. And the Nexus mission board. Complete mission. Mission complete. 400 Quicksilver and a fuel oxidizer. Very nice reward. Alrighty. Let's get back to the freighter. And we'll wrap this guy up.
there's that very cool space station and there's our freighter all right sneak around these pylons and get on in there wow that was a hell of a landing sequence and docking procedure if i ever say so Alrighty folks, that's going to wrap up this daily Quicksilver mission video. Thank you very much for watching. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you again soon on another video. Bye bye.